Across the country, people celebrated Black History Month throughout February. The community of Sanford was no exception, remembering those African American leaders who paved the way for us. We remember our own brothers and sisters during African American History Month. And I say that collectively because if one of us isn't free, none of us is free. Chair of the History Department and Civil Rights Specialist Jonathan Bass takes us back to the early 60s when racial tensions were rampant in Birmingham and on Sanford's campus. But he says 50 years later, the university has made great strides. Sanford, um, just like all of the institutions of higher education throughout the South, um, especially in Alabama, did not have any black students in 1961. It would take a number of years before uh, the first African Americans were admitted uh, to Sanford University. And I, what I have seen um, and what's really impressed me over the last few years is Sanford's commitment to reaching out and being very intentional, not just uh, pretending like we, we live over the mountain in this isolated community uh, far removed from Birmingham, that, that we're part of the Birmingham community and that's something that we take as an institution, we take very seriously. Bass, a native of Birmingham, says this city is the perfect place to teach students about civil rights, providing them a place to connect yesterday with today. Uh, there's no better place to think about teaching civil rights history than in Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham is the, the epicenter of the civil rights movement. Birmingham provides so many opportunities to take students uh, outside of the classroom to actually talk to civil rights figures and to be very intentional about connecting the past to the present. He's, he's just really good at teaching it in a way that we, can, we learn it easily and it's fun to learn in his classes. Um, he definitely has a passion for the civil rights class. Um, he grew up just outside of Birmingham and um, his, his perspective of growing up during integration and being one of two white kids in his high school, you know, just had this, has a different perspective than we have as, you know, kids born in the 80s. Recently, Sanford's history department, known for its undergraduate research, was called on to provide materials for a documentary film celebrating the work of the Freedom Rides in 1961. This is a significant film produced by uh, a, a documentary film company for uh, the PBS American Experience. And it's very exciting that we have one of our undergraduates who has performed a lot of the research, a lot of the, the primary source research for this film. Just going through those newspapers and looking through the documents, I found so much stuff, um, so much interesting stuff on the side that they didn't even really need for the film, but I learned personally uh, how much this really consumed Birmingham, this, this event. And there, there were not just photographs and editorials, but cartoons and, I mean, it went on for months. Just everyone was consumed with these freedom rides coming through. President of Sanford's Black Heritage Association, Jeremiah Chester, spoke to students this month in convocation about how we often get wrapped up in what others may think of us, whether that is our habits, our spirituality, or our color of skin. And we'll walk around and we're so concerned with what our sorority sisters and our fraternity brothers, we're so concerned with what our classmates and our teachers have to say about us that we'll lie to them, but we'll lie also to ourselves. Because we're not concerned with what God says, we're concerned with what people think. He went on to remind them that when we see others through the eyes of God, no sin, no color of skin, no social class, no language will be able to divide us, for we are all one under Christ. The son of the king died for us. The innocent died for the guilty. It's because he died we <coughs> make it. And so when we look in the mirror this morning, you know what? We don't see ourselves alone, but we see the blood of Christ that covers our sin. I'm Nathan Troost, Sanford University.